Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Cosmo Build-A-Figure Wave. Here we have Kraglin. <clears throat> um, this figure's super weird. I don't mind getting a Kraglin figure. I don't think it was super important that we would get a Kraglin figure. Uh, a Gamora figure would have been better. A High Evolutionary fi figure would have been better. <clears throat> but... Uh, we got Kraglin, and this figure's weird. Like, really, really weird. He's got some reused parts, so he's got the same legs as the Yondu figure from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. He's got the same arms, <coughs> and then, of course, the same uh, arrow. Um, it's just a really weird figure, and we'll get into that. Uh, but first, the sponsor of this video, Toy Snowman. I got my wave from them. Uh, they are a Canadian-based retailer, toysnowman.com. Check out the video description below. There's a link. It is my referral link, which will give you a 5% off coupon code and your Frost Rewards for all first-time buyers. So make sure to check them out. Uh, they have um, all the figures that you can think of, Mythic Legions, Mayfex, uh, Figure Arts, all those import figures, um, as well as you know the Hasbro figures, Transformers, Black Series, uh, Power Rangers, Lightning Collection, G.I. Joe Classified Series, Marvel Legends. So check them out. For, uh, orders over 100 bucks to get free shipping um, to the U.S. And, or, you know, of course, within Canada. But anyway, link in the video description below. Uh, looking at the package, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, we get a picture uh, there. Uh, we have we see Craglin, J Sean Gunn uh, there on the back of the box, and then we see what accessories he comes with and uh, whatnot. So we'll move that box out of the way. Um, he comes with the, uh, I think this is the front right, front left leg, uh, for Cosmo, so we'll put that there. That is the last piece. I have all the pieces for Cosmo to put together uh, now. And here we have Kraglin. Uh, this, the body shape of this figure is just so wacky weird. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's just go ahead and get in for a closer look at it. Okay, so looking at the accessories, we get this arrow piece here. You can see it has like the, the smoke trail or whatever. This is the same piece that came with the Yondu figure, as you can see there. The gold is slightly different. Um, and then the trail is about the same color orange as you could see there, but slightly different gold paint color uh, going on there. <clears throat> but anyway, that's the same. Um, so I'll just throw that off to the side. One um, extra thing that we get with Kraglin, he actually has this knife, um, and it's done decently. We get this, you know, pretty dull brown for the for the handle, um, and then just a gray color for. Uh, the blade portion, and then it just sheaths there all over his back. Now the figure, <clears throat> God. Hey, well, let's get, well, let's go ahead and get in for the closer look. So, uh, Sean Gunn, Kraglin, that looks dead on from the side. From the front, I could see it too. I think his face is a little bit wider than like the 3D render had shown. Not that it's terrible, but I think, you know, it's a little too wide. But man, when you see the side profile, you're like, holy shit, that is Kraglin. That is Sean Gunn, the director's brother. <coughs> so, um, so from that aspect... It, it's it's pretty good head sculpt. The figure is just weird, so weird. But anyway, look at the fin. The fin is big. It's bigger than Yondu had on the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, and you can see Kraglin's a hell of a lot taller. Um, even though the legs are the same, the body is different, so you can see the difference there. One thing about Yondu though is it had some bright orange color in in the fin. Uh, we do not get that on Kraglin. Um, I don't necessarily mind it, but you know it's a nice little added detail. Uh, from before that would look pretty good but i like the larger size of the fin um and that you know looks pretty good <clears throat> so looking at craglin again these arms the arms are the exact same from yondu as you could see there so they're obviously just a different color uh the left arm though gets some added paint whereas yondu didn't have as much i mean this forearm guard you know that got painted so here craglin gets it like this titanium uh, color and then here on the shoulder and a little bit on the arm it gets painted whereas Yondu didn't have any paint there so the arms are the same and then the legs are the same and I never realized because Yondu has this coat Yondu's legs were thin as hell like really weird thin um, <clears throat> and I just never noticed that before but um, it's extremely apparent on this Kraglin figure how thin the legs are because the body shape is just a little bit Odd. It's throwing me off. It reminds me of classic Loki a little bit. Um, we do get some color detail added on into the boots there. Uh, looking at the body, you can see there. See, like here, his leg, his his legs are just super thin um, compared to his body. So it just throws it, it throws it all off, and it just makes it look a little bit weird to me. So let me zoom out so we can get kind of a better look at the figure. You could just see his legs; <clears throat> they're just so thin. <clears throat> it, it just doesn't look right to me. I think the legs should have been thicker. Um, and again, because 
Yondu has the jacket, it really hides the fact that the legs are super thin because that trench coat is just so long, it can really kind of cover up the flaws there. But, you know, now that we have this, he's just kind of in this coverall suit, Ravager suit. Um, it, it exposes it, and it sh you can see the legs are just so thin. And I think um, this figure getting an all-new torso really would have benefited from some new legs. Unfortunately, they just went with reusing Yondu's legs, which I guess... When you think about it, Ravagers, they have a lot of the similar clothing and whatnot, so that kind of works there, I guess. But it uh, would have been nice to just get all new around or just not get a Kraglin figure to begin with. But, you know, maybe that's just me. Uh, but anyway, we get this bandolier thing. Um, what's interesting is it actually ports on into the front of the figure, so you can actually see there is a port hole there. Um, and then you can see the key right there on the bandolier, so you could just push that in. And then it will actually do, uh, hold it in place as you kind of move the upper part of the figure around. So that's actually pretty cool um, that they did that. <clears throat> you get some like, looks like stitching on the side over there. We got a zipper there. Some gray like undershirt type of deal uh, coming out. Uh, so it looks pretty good. Uh, you know, nice little detail. The holster is really nice. I don't know exactly why they did it the way they did it. You know, if it would have been holding an arrow completely, you know, that would have been cool. Uh, you know, I guess if you want to do that, you could, but that wouldn't really make sense, right? So, you know, it you don't actually get the best use out of it because really this is kind of how it's going to have to end up going, right? Like he's whistling and then it's starting to come out and you can't really pose it around too well. That was always kind of the downfall of this. The idea is cool for sure, uh, but it would have been nice to just get just the arrow um, and not, you know, the trail or, you know, get this one and just an arrow um, that we do have the trail piece or, you know, read just do the trail piece to where it kind of makes sense. It looks like it can kind of float out because the angle in which that you would have to use it just is, is a bit weird. Uh, but yeah, there is the Kraglin figure. Um, I know I've kind of gone on and on and on about it, but let's go ahead and now take a look at his articulation. Okay, so Kraglin is on a dumbbell joint, so he's got a super long neck in there. Uh, so he can look up that much, which is actually pretty good. He can't really look down, unfortunately. You get a full rotation in that head, and there is some nice pivot going on in there. The shoulder, you can get to the left arm to go straight on out like so, and it's slightly elevated a little bit. Right can go straight on out uh, there. You get a full rotation in there. Uh, you do have upper bicep swivel on both arms, double jointed pinned elbows because again, reused Yondu's arms. Um, the pins are the same color as the arm, except for I guess on that forearm, but the armor it's pushed in so it doesn't look as bad. Uh, but that much bend there at the elbows. Uh, wrists swivel and they do hinge, uh, standard horizontal hinge on both of the open holding hands. There. Uh, so the body, we get a diaphragm cut so he can pivot it to his right uh that much is not a whole lot he could pivot to his left uh that much not a whole lot he can go back a little bit that's more so the legs and kind of working him forward um and then forward is actually man like like nothing like nothing it's it's bad it's not very good at all uh you do get a swivel in there yeah it's just bad i mean there's a gap in between the lower torso and the upper torso just sticks out a lot more. Ah, something about this figure is just really, really, really weird. Yeah, it just really could have done without Kraglin. Um, I don't know. Did I, I forget? I didn't mention it. Swivel there. Uh, legs go out super far apart. Super, super duper thin legs. Even slightly gummy at the knees. Um, he can kick forward that far, which is not bad. Uh, leg goes back actually quite a bit. You get an upper thigh cut in there. Double jointed knee, like so. You do get a swivel at the boot. Oh, the knee is pinned, by the way, because again, the Reeves legs. Uh, there is no boot swivel on this guy. It looks like there should be a boot cut there, but there is no boot cut. Foot hinges down. You get some hinge up, ankle pivot, pickles at the bottom of the feet. Um, yeah, that's that's a big disappointment. I, I'm not really pleased with this figure. I don't, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Okay, so we got ourselves a little bit of a ragtag group of Ravagers here. So we have Ravager Thor, Star-Lord from Thor Love and Thunder, 
uh, Craglin and then Yondu. Yondu's colors are a little bit darker compared to like Craglin and uh, Star Lord, which those colors really do match up a whole hell of a lot better. They just got lined up. Um, so Yondu, not really kind of connected, but you know, of course, it wouldn't have been at the same time since Yondu had died in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. But um, we, we've we've got some Ravagers. There we go. Okay, special bonus time. So a few people have asked, can you swap the Drax heads? Yes, you can. The grays are different where we get a little bit of a satin uh, finish to the older Drax head, but the newer Drax head um, is definitely a lot more flat. Um, looking at it quickly, you really can't see the difference. The head fits on there a little loose and wobbly, um, but yes, you can switch the heads if that is something that you wanted to do. Okay, so here is the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 uh, Cosmo Build-A-Figure Wave. Minus the Build-A-Figure, I do have all of the pieces here uh, to put Cosmo together. And hopefully I can figure out which leg uh, goes where. Uh, but we have all the pieces here, and that'll be the next video. Uh, Kraglin is definitely the worst figure in the wave. Not even, like, Adam Warlock, I for sure thought would have been the worst figure. But it turns out it's Kraglin. Um, I just not, I'm not a fan of it. May, you guys might like it. Um, I'm sure there's folks out there that, that really enjoy it. I, for one, just really don't care for it. The, the Sean Gunn head sculpt came out pretty good. I, I just didn't see a need for Kraglin. I still don't need, see a need for Kraglin. And those legs actually really bother me. Um, they're not nearly as bad as Yondu because, again, Yondu is a smaller figure. Um, and then the trench coat <coughs> really hides a lot of it. Um, this Kraglin, those legs are all about in the open for everybody to see. The diaphragm cut is done very oddly and in, in not at Tazbro's best. Like if you look at Adam Warlock, you see how the, the, the diaphragm cut is really flush. You know, obviously it's a little bit larger than the bottom portion because it fits over there and moves around. Uh, but it's pretty flush with the lower portion, it sits right over it. There's a gap in between on the Kraglin. It's just, it's just weird. Not Hasbro's best. I'm pretty disappointed. I would have taken any other figure, Gamora, High Evolutionary, anything else, um, instead of that Kraglin. So I'm a little disappointed. You can see he's super tall also compared to like Star-Lord. His head is really big compared to the Chris Pratt head. Um, just, again, all around. Uh, I'm disappointed. But you guys let me know, what do you think of this Kraglin figure? What do you think of the wave so far? Are you excited for the movie? I am. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that join button to become a channel member and be a part of the MCU Collective. And as always, thank you for watching.